Thank you, James. I'm just jumping onto that train now. I'm a little bit behind, but I'm catching up nonetheless. We've got the most beautiful scene in the lovely long wet grass this morning. It is a spider. And I'm not certain as to what spider it is just yet. It, it looks very much like a wolf spider, but I don't think wolf spiders make webs as far as I'm aware. I thought they actively caught this prey. And, and because of its funnel shape that uh, it is sitting in at the moment, most likely a female spider because it's actually quite a big one. I'm not sure it could be one of the funnel webs, but I don't think I've come across this beautiful species before. So if you wouldn't mind, please, could you take a couple of screenshots of this beautiful spider sitting in its web that's covered with lots and lots of dew on it so that I can identify it later. Hashtag Safari Live, of course, with your screenshots. And if you have any questions for us on Twitter, that is the, the only way, of course, to get hold of us. But how stunning is this? And, and the dew is just so beautiful. I'm to actually stand up so I can take a view of the entire web. It is amazing and that's what's one of the wonderful things that we're going to start seeing is with uh, the cooler mornings of course all the condensation uh, that is forming and all these beautiful dew droplets not just on the grass and on the leaves but of course covering the spider webs and we've seen many of them this morning that like covered in webs but I think so far it's a toss-up between the tropical tent web spider we had, but it was just a bit too dark still to show you. But we'll look for one or this beautiful, some form of a funnel web spider. I think it can only be. But it's actually got a massive web for the size of the spider all over the grass. Ah, there we go. So quite a few of you, Siberia Zumi and, and uh, a couple of others also saying that it could be one of the funnel web spiders. Fantastic. That's great. It'll be interesting to try and figure out exactly which funnel web it is because I'm sure there's a couple of different species. So thank you for that. I'll keep on searching when we get home and I have a look at my spider book. I'll see if I can find it. But I'm really impressed as to how big the web actually is and woven all around the grass. Now, most of the time, the funnel web, the funnel web spider that I've always seen have constructed their webs a little bit, they sort of concealed them a little bit better, actually hidden them amongst the grass. And, I, and one of the reasons why we're seeing this one, of course, is because it has got the dew on it. So I think if it later in the day, if we came back here and we had a look at the same web, it would probably be a bit more difficult to see. But it's just, it's not sort of tucked away in the grass like they typically are. It's the most impressive funnel web nest or web I've ever seen. So I hope you got lots and lots of screenshots of it, but it is just spectacular, this web. Look at that. It's huge. Actually, I'm going to come and put my hand quite next to it. Again, I'm going to use my hand as a scale. Hopefully I don't scare the spider. But look how massive it is. Even going all the way up here. Oh. Now, dear watcher, you're wondering if the spider could just be in a different spider's web. Uh, that, possibly. Um, however, I don't think that it is, though. I think that this is indeed this funnel web spider's nest. It's just constructed it really beautifully for us. Um, the only time you'll normally you'll see other spiders and other webs is if they're kleptoparasites, so if they sort of rely on stealing food or leftover debris from other spiders. So like the dewdrop spiders, you normally see living in the orb web spider nest, and it's quite normal to see that. And then, well... Jumping spiders will eat other spiders. They're actually, well, most spiders are cannibalists, so they will feed on other spiders, no problem. So I could imagine a jumping spider you could find lurking quite close to another spider's web. But you can see the spider sitting in the middle, and, and to me that sort of just says, this is mine, not hanging on the outskirts like it shouldn't be here. Right in the center of the web going, this is my home, waiting for something to, of course, land on the edges of the web. And from the angle that she's sitting, she can either run very quickly to the right, to the left, up, down, you name it, and eventually catch whatever gets stuck in a web. And I can imagine here she must be feeding on quite a few different species of grasshoppers, firstly, and even butterflies. Because at the moment, that's what we're seeing a lot of just in the grasses. Remember all those acreas that were dying, they would make for a very easy meal for a spider. They would get stuck in that web, and I don't think that they would be able to flap themselves free. Now I need to look on the ground. Uh -huh. 